Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy.
Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something. Word came down, the Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Caffeine always did make me jumpy. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Bay. Brace for a reset. Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Give it a second for the processor to sink. Did the seals break? No. Physical intent. Ryder? Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. Please report any further variances to engineering. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. This is the captain. I need to Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, trouble. whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. Hi there. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including arcs, pathfinders, outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. 
Status of outposts are unknown. Damage control team to propulsion on the double. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the initiative. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. It started with a vision of a better future, a vision that you shape. Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream, and I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. At present, our Kyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As Recon Specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Parchero, the Solarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. Upside down, or am I still dreaming? It left a nasty bump on your head. Let me take a look. He has a scanner. 
Quick rider, use it to locate the vault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. Hey, I'll try to get on this. I'll override the safeties. Got it. Hurry. Rider. Relay 2C. Shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Rider, can you go reset it? There, it's reset. Do it. You're out of the current now. It's working. Readings are in the green. Thank God. That could have been the end of everyone in the cryo bay. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. I'm sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are on there. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right. Just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. 
A stubborn one, isn't he? He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll wanna get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Crashing the party, huh? Sorry. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Hang in there, Sarah. Looks like Dad's already suited up. Better not. No bathroom breaks in this trip. Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Yeah. Hope I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttle. Oh, so just another boring day at the office, huh? If it was, this wouldn't be any fun. I can't wait to find out what's down there. I know what you mean. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. I prefer to eat lunch, not be lunch. You're not a real explorer till you've got some scars or bite marks. On that note, time to get to the shuttle. Please report in as soon as possible. We scan. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. Sarah wouldn't want us to worry because of her. You're right. The mission 
comes first. Though, I doubt your mother would have seen it that way. I promised her I'd get you two here safely. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. Archive period, this is Shuttle 1. Switching to manual guidance. Shuttle 2, taking your lead. Good luck, Pathfinder team. Turning to Vector 135. Navigation Copy that. Green. You're on point. Wow. Five, you look at that. Whatever it is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so. Stay clear of it. Gravity anomaly is detected.
Ryder. Come in. Hyperion, Sam, anyone there? Take your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we are too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on! Ryder, how's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra Incognita. Some of these plants look like tentacles. Is the water here even water? Those structures we saw on the way in? Who could survive in a place like this? Not sure we want to find out. No fixing this. Must have broken on impact. Explains why we lost our sound connection. Oh, and safety tip. Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. I think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this. Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Jump jets if we have to. Into the breach! I think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably do both. How'd my dad find you? I was a cop. In crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. That's it. We're 
We're getting there. job to figure it out. That sounds like your old man talking. He was right. Something went wrong here. We have to find out what. One thing at a time. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait. Look. shot at hello with these guys. Yeah, and Fisher gets shot in the head if we're wrong. Nice and easy. We only go hard if we have to. Don't think they've spotted us yet. Wrong. Shit! They see Fisher! No, I can't shoot it! He sees us! We can't understand you! We're not here to fight! That man's with us! No, I can't shoot it! Doesn't sound friendly. What's the other guy doing? I am sure it. Weapons up. Let's keep the work. I guess they didn't want to listen. What else could we do? You've saved my life. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <sighs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here, and take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa! Take a look at these bodies, what are these things? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them, but we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Point the
Right. Looks like he knew how to handle a gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA-based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Ah. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? from one of our shuttles. Good. The atmospheric sensor is still working. Let me guess. It says don't breathe the air? Yeah, but no sign of industrial pollutants. That's not what killed this place. And no radioactive isotopes either. So nobody nukes the place. That's the last of them. Uh, I can't believe we're doing this. The cops didn't make it? <laughs> no vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, <sighs> Maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something.
Space code number. Over there. Could be our people. I'll mark the nav point. Sign of technology. Wow, so the cloaking is biological? Yeah, weird. half of our shuttle. What a mess. I can't believe we survived this. We're not off planet yet. Shit! Move on our perimeter! It's an ambush! <laughs> oh hell, they got the jump on us! <laughs> Careful they got one of those animals! Watch for cloaking! <laughs> off for them! They force this! Find us around us! Keep an eye on your six o'clock! And our two o'clock! And our eight! Now who's dead, asshole? occasional raider or two in my day. I used to guard a Mass Effect relay. Wish we'd had one for the Orcs. Maybe we should see if there's anything else useful here. Flight recorder here.
sort of structure up that hill. This place is taking a beating from the storms. Along with everything else on this planet. like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on. I'm right about now. Huh. What's all this about? Nothing. just those aliens. Wonder what he's saying. Kill old humans, probably? No power. What are you doing, Ryder? Oh, shit. That can't be good. So the weird alien machine is a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Weird. If that's poison, I know who to blame. door open. Some kind of research lab? Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. Can 
Jeff. Will not hold Zuranad. Jean Rook. Not exactly poetry, is it? Weird. You hear that? Looks like they were trying to tunnel in. Uh, watch it! What is it? This? This. So now killer robots, too? Huh. The guests back home would love this place. Whatever this is, it scans as being old. Centuries old. Wish we had Sam. I think it's older than this lab and the equipment. So maybe these aliens found it deeper in? Like an artifact? It's fried. Could be a console of some sort. For that door? Doesn't say much. His wounds look like they're from an energy blast. Some serious energy on the other side of that door. Maybe it's closed for a reason. These guys were poking around where they shouldn't have. Any theories, recall specialist? There's some kind of technology on this planet. Older. Underground. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty archaeologists. Weather's still crappy. Heads up! They were waiting for us! Stalking us? Starting to feel like it! This is not how I go out! I don't think they're listening! There! Last one's down. Let's not wait around for more. God, I was tapping my mic, hoping someone would notice. You okay? Yeah. Where are the others? They killed Kirkland, but Fisher's alive, back at the crash site. He's got a broken leg, needs help. I'll check around for supplies, then head back. We'll be in touch. Liam and I need to go help Cora. Good luck. Can't wait to get off this rock.
shit. This pretty serious looking operation. Ryder, some sort of cave over there. That out. Now this looks more like the golden world my dad was expecting. Then the long range scans were right. This could have been home 600 years ago. And then, who knows? Dead animal here, and some sort of trap. Pretty recent, too. You suppose those aliens set it? If they did, they don't play nice with anyone. Well, maybe they're starving. If it's anything like plants back in the Milky Way, there are signs of cellular mutation. It's lasted this long. Guess that makes it the Alpha Tree, huh? Yeah. But what happened to all its friends outside? Careful there. That sound coming from below? Uh, alien gods of the underworld? <laughs> don't say that. I think it's machinery. You could feel the vibration. Oh, the scale of this. Who built it? Alien gods.
Wonder what's in here. What the? Did you see that? Some kind of flying thing. And it's the list of stuff around here we don't understand. out for blood. Not if we don't give it to them. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible. Never seen anything like it. Looks to be at least three or four centuries old. The Ox left 600 years ago, right? Yeah. Our long-range scans wouldn't have shown this. These structures, that tower, maybe none of it was here when we left the Milky Way.
Nice to see you guys. You too, Harry. I would... One piece. You got here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Do these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word. Then started shooting. What about you? We tried being nice. They didn't play along.
There's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Did these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word. Then started shooting. What about you? We tried being nice. They didn't play along.
Liam, enough. Right. It's just these assholes kill Kirkland. I hear you, but this isn't the time to lose our cool. Now I feel better. What about the others? Fisher's wounded, but sitting tight. Greer's with him. Though our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. She's been hit! Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... <clears throat> I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Ryder. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. Sam, do you have the Pathfinder's position? I'll watch over. Marking the nav point on your map. If those Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. Don't let them take me alive. We have to get there before the storm hit. No, no detours. What was my dad scouting for? He was trying to get readings on... ...that tower. Well, the nav point puts him near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Ryder, your dad was in trouble. We have to find him. We're gonna find the Pathfinder. Like, right now. Sam's right. We don't have much time. Look! The rot! They're drawing the lightning away! If we hug that wall, they might keep us safe. Dead bodies here! Lightning didn't do this! Incendiary rounds! My dad's been busy! He was an N7. They don't mess around. Only way to survive here. Two, if you count shooting on sight. My dad's up there. Weird. We were here earlier. Guess he's been. Sir. Stay low. Just like us. I don't think they're native to the planet. They're not. We found an abandoned lab. 
Like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. Thank you. It seemed important. Remember that. Follow your gut. Well, right now, my gut says we're in trouble here. Sir, you said you had an idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop with the cloud. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. It's a hell of a gamble. But we won't know until we get in there and try. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. If the riders are game, so am I. But we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. Center. Keep 
Keep off my back. You heard him. We made it. In one piece. Not over yet. I need to get through that door over there. Translation complete. Let's see what we have. I'll be damned. It's working. 
You did it. There's hope at least. That's all anyone back in the Ark is looking for. Hope it'll work out. Well, not if we stand around looking at sunsets. <laughs> Let's get back to the shuttle and... is overloading. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it! There! Welcome back. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his, and he chose you. I'm so sorry. I know this must be a blow. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got the team out of danger. We all owe him for that. He once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. What are we doing in Sam, Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Cora? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder. Whoa. Well, if that's how it has to be, 
Don't sell yourself short. I think you can do it. Cora? It's what he wanted. I won't stand in the way. But being Pathfinder is a serious job. You sure you're ready for this? It's why I'm here. Exploring the unknown. Just like your dad, huh? It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. He needs to rest first. He's got two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I checked on your sister. There's still no change. But if you can pull through, so can she. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in.
construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. Be okay, Rider. We have reached the, next the captain just called me we Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. I, need engineering. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Captain wants right. To full duty roster. So, always keep I a jump jet handy. All essential personnel report to duty station. On essential personnel. Okay, Engineering folks. This is underway. what we've been waiting for. Let your teams know that docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep, and we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, we'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams, so it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. 
How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Plants are still alive. It's like they didn't finish building it. Hello? There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Ark Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Ark? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But... we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center.
Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are gonna be a real problem. This day just keeps... We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead? Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes and short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma to Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Miller, where's that chat? Hyperion is 
start to send Italian supplies. Handling something big, is she? I'll just organize this as a company. Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. This is Nexus control no, to Hyperion. What it's good what to have choice you here. Do we have? All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me, Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. 
or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title, but no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus of Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder. We're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Hello, I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at Workspace Not Allocated. Please select a topic. You are Employee Rider, Salary Code 19B, Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For Colonial Affairs or Outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For Station Maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For Militia Operations or Apex Deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Viable planets, capable of supporting life, are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. 
The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Irene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those Ket found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket? We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to Number 8 yet, have you? Number 8? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. 
he'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and, in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan Eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda Initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, was killed. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Salarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Nothing more for now. Later. Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused the switching to blow, but fine. I don't care. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the Scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others...
Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, KC, me and Sam load on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain. But tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you... It's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds. Many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. Kendris mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the Initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? 
If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the Initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. tissue like Quiro's rockfish. I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves.
power draw is now at 100 percent. Byzantine crystalline. All the nodules intertwined. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Eric's into life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Our Adana's the space and math ways. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Engineering. Hyperion power draw is now at Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted?
docking procedures are now complete. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. <laughs> and Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. Hello Ryder, welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Restricted access I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? 
Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Welcome back, Ryder. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The 
The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. <sighs> Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samload on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand.
Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course.
Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it! Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. 
When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Wonder how fast that engine core clocks in. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions.
You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? I guess we have to be. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Things seem bad. But we've already beaten the odds. And we'll beat them again. You know it, I know it. So let's show them what we got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1, designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat.
Anomaly on sensors. See you on the ramp. Ready, Freddy? Hope we're all that ready. Callow. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I've got the training. People. The tools. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that.
Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? There. Set us down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. They didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. <laughs>